Let's see what he can do. There's not easy throwing today. That one's not terribly straight, although he used the wind well. It drifted round, and Paul Hodgson off he goes on a little sniping run off. Quick ball off the top. Taken on now by Casey. Outside the 22, down goes Casey, and picked up by Thorpe. Thorpe drives forward, takes it on another metre or so. Now quick ball for Hodgson, goes left to Hickey, switches it right to Garrity, spinning round. Garrity steps through, but is brought down well and considerably behind the game line. You can see what Irish were doing there. Now it's Denaher who takes it on, feeds on to Hewitt off the line. Hewitt steps through the first tackle, tackles away on the right-hand side, inside the 22, but uh, a breakdown in communications there from London Irish as Danaher's pass clatters into right and back, went backwards, play on. Garrity steps and almost gets through the first tackle. That step we've come become so familiar to us here at London Irish. Penalty against Leeds in front of the oh, post. now played, what, uh, seven minutes here at Headingley. Had a chance for Peter Hewitt to give Irish the lead right in front of the posts and uh, just inside the 22 again by a mere few centimetres so shouldn't be too much trouble for the Australian 93 points so far this season for Hewitt can he make it 96 strikes it right footed and uh, no trouble at all a very easy kick very straightforward kick for Peter Hewitt with the wind behind him seven minutes on the clock and London Irish have the lead and uh, deservedly so Paddy from what we've seen so far you, as I said, you, you've, you've got a heritage of, 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 of rugby league here, and, and, and I think it's always shown in the quality of the Leeds defence. Kitsir goes to the front of the line where it's taken by Kieran Roach. Kitsir throwing much better after that first throw, which went a little awry. It's not easy for a hooker, obviously, in the wind this afternoon, but Kitsir now peels round and rips it off and drives on. Danaher takes the ball from Kitsir at the back of the mall. It's pulled down by Massey. We can see that right in front of us, but the referee hasn't seen it. Goes right to Hickey. Hickey, this time, dummies past Garrity and steps through the gap himself just hauled down on the 10 metre line right in the middle of the field penalty this time for London Irish which Hodgson taps and goes himself isolated Hodgson on his own now goes right where the support is from Dallin Armitage Armitage Johns Tang attack around the line Tang Thakbar just hauled down inside the 22 they need quick ball Hodgson trying to get it Leeds coming through well not offside says the referee Garrity now steps and is almost away just tackles short but London Irish come again through Tang Thakbar driving up towards the 22 there right, seven or eight metres short Decent defence, though, when it needed to be from Leeds. They go left to Garrity. Garrity dummies and steps, but Leeds are aware of that move by now. Left they go to Kieran Roach. Roach driving into the Leeds defence, which is offside. Advantage, says the referee. Hodgson in a central position this time. Goes left to Hewitt. Hewitt has a outside him. Well, it's Dallin Armitage, you can get the oh. ball through. Dallin Armitage off his boot and he touches it down. And is that a try? It is a try. Okay. It is a try. The crowd think it was a knock on, on, but it wasn't a knock on. It came off Armitage's boot. A real stroke of fortune from London Irish. Hewitt flicked the ball onto Armitage. He dropped it onto his boot and the ball just popped up nicely for him. And he's fallen on it. And London Irish have the first try of the afternoon. Dallin Armitage with his eighth try of the season. London Irish 8, Leeds 3. Completely agree, with the, with, just because of the wind and the heavy on the foot conditions, it's scoring scoring any point is going to be very difficult. Another very high restart from Di Bernardo, but it's taken well by Kieran Roach on the 10 metre line, perfectly judged by the fly half of Leeds. As Casey now picks up and goes around the edge of the ruck, just takes it on another couple of metres up towards halfway. Now it comes back to Garrity, who had to take a high pass above his head, so he just steps and uh, rather than trying the kick, goes to ground just on his own 10 metre line now it comes back to Hewitt and Hewitt strikes it as he does with this uh, slow laid back style down the right hand touch line misses touch though Lee Hinton just stops it before touch and uh, Hinton tries to step past Davidia but Davidia makes the tackle on him just short of the Leeds 10 metre line this time away on their left hand side slow ball for Leeds as the London Irish backs come up to form the defensive line on their own 10 metre line Leeds keep it amongst the Fords, picking up and driving on, just eating up the metres. Slow ball again for Joe Bedford, the 23-year-old scrum half, young scrum half, formerly of Rotherham, like so many of the Leeds players, joined Leeds over the summer after promotion. Born in Leeds, though, local lad. Now he gets the ball and goes back to Di Bernando, who passes on to uh, Mike McDonald, the American prop forward, finds himself at uh, inside centre, who rumbles forward. He played against England in the World Cup not so long ago, and they move it left this time. Leeds steps inside from uh, Johnny Hepworth, but London Irish's defence is looking pretty solid at the moment. They're up on Leeds very, very quickly, and for the time being, every time the tackle is made, it's from a long way behind the gain line. Kieran Roach, a little bit late there on Vili Massey, and uh, he offers his apologies. I'm relieved that the referee didn't see that one Paddy yeah, that was a uh, well it was he lined up his man and he hit him but the yeah. ball was gone <laughs> decent clearance now from Di Bernando goes long doesn't find touch though only finds Hickey Hickey goes left to Hewitt in space Hewitt up towards halfway and he has a man outside in the shape of Tangithakabau chips on to Tangithakabau 
drops Stone dead at his feet and uh, onto Danaher. Danaher then throws the wide pass out to Tang Thakpa, who weaves and ducks his way through a couple of tackles, sets up for uh, Hodgson, goes right. Hodgson's still not right, still hobbling, but Hewitt with half a break from for a lie half position over the 10 metre line London Irish putting together some nice phases here now Armitage in the line outside him it's uh, Richard, Richard Thorpe Hall. goodness me good play from the number 8 driving through the tackles Nick Kennedy now in space pass it out wide suits Thomas Davidia and Davidia scores in the right hand corner and that is a marvellous try from brilliant London try. Irish absolutely brilliant and, try um, I think one would say probably reasonably successfully in that they've limited well Kurtz's throw goes over the head of Kennedy Hodgson goes back to tidy up onto Garrity Garrity off he goes on one of his little weaving runs but he's tackled on the 10 metre line keeps the ball alive though an Irish pack is there now there to set it up for Hodgson goes right to Roach Roach on to Thorpe again and Richard Thorpe galloping through the tackles goodness me what a run from Richard Thorpe looking for support outside him gets bumped and barged he goes to ground eventually but Richard Thorpe well he's carrying on where he left off against Newport terrific run there from Thorpe the move at left Garrity with the ball huge overlap on this left hand side if they can work the ball left Danaher and Tangi Thakaba are just waiting unmarked on this left hand side it's slow ball and leads well hands in the ruck and that should be a yellow card it's, and I think it will outrageous. be so in the meantime, Hewitt's now with a penalty in front of the posts as we enter the last five minutes of the first half and a chance to restore that ten-point lead for Irish. And uh, well, I said I said at the start of the game I'd like Irish to be ten points ahead by half time given this wind. Well, a chance for them to restore that lead. Hewitt in front of the post, really straightforward kick for him. Kicks it high and through the middle it goes, and it's three points, Paddy. But it really could have been said seven. The wind has dropped in the second half. London Irish lucky from that point of view and the sun now has gone behind the clouds. Fury gets the ball into the scrum. Good drive from Leeds this time. So Thorpe picks up straight away. The number eight drives. Good power. Legs pumping but hauled down a couple of metres short. And, uh, well, away to the left. Penalty against Leeds this time. Oh, and uh, it's tapped and quick run from L- London Irish. Tangy Thakabau away in the left-hand corner. Unmarked. Over he goes. Try to London Irish. And uh, Leeds now... In a spot of bother. Well, they're back to a full quota of players now, London Irish at least, as Owen Hickey launches a restart high and up towards the left-hand side where it's gathered by Eric Lund. And now the restarts from Leeds have been so much better in this second half as well. They've really held on to the ball when London Irish have restarted, and London Irish haven't been so good at the restarts. And let's see, well, Leeds have the ball and they have the drive on. Outside the 22 they go. Nine and a half minutes left here at Headingley. 21 all. And, uh, well, London Irish need to respond somehow. They've lost Bob Casey they've lost their captain and uh, well they need leadership from somewhere they need experience and they need leadership but at the moment there's only one team that's going to win this game and it's Leeds who are absolutely on top they attack once more with a flat pass a bit of crossing in the centre but play goes on a chip ahead from Hinton it's Biggs chasing it back goes Tanga Thakabau the ball's going to beat them both it's going to bounce third Biggs pairing after it but it does go back and they go back from the 22 a clear case of crossing in the midfield which the referee missed Garrity takes the restart quickly the 22 spots a bit of space goes a long long way back the only man back there is the hooker Massey who picks it up on his own 22 he's going to have a run he just brushes off Garrity and Pressures off Thorpe too before he sets the ball up. And it's intercepted by Armitage. Can he get the ball away? Not quite. Armitage half through. Warren Fury picks it up. Driving on. Tackle though. London Irish with half a glimpse then of a try of their own through Darren Armitage. He was just standing there looking for the interception. Ball popped straight into his hands as David Pace now picks up and rumbles forward up towards the 22 within penalty area now as the wind has really dropped in the second half Fury goes right to Tangi Thakabau steps and goes left up towards the 22 nice run from Tangi Thakabau good strength offloads onto Stefan Armitage wriggles over the 22 and sets it up London Irish have they been stung back into action have they woken up Dylan Armitage picks the ball up looks up and jumps over the top of the ruck but his tackles inside the 22 Fury goes left to Hewitt Hewitt looks down the line there's a bit of space for Hewitt onto Pace Pace has an overlap on his left hand side Pace with the corner himself is he over? Has he ground the yes. ball? That's David Pace. He scored in the left-hand corner. What a response from London Irish. Pace it is with the bonus point try and headingly falls silent as London Irish, res- London Irish responds and make it look easy. London Irish 26. Lee-